The Wrestling Mayhem Show. Since 2006, the pioneer in pro wrestling podcasting. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network for your independent wrestling entertainment. Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. The Wrestling Mayhem Show after WrestleMania. We are here in the parking lot of the <laughs> interestingly textured Kia Forum because the parking is a little bit cheaper here across the street. I am uh, Sorgatron, and uh, we have our crew with us. First of all, the Dutters is with us, I'm the Mistress of Mayhem herself. Hello. I'm cold. Here we go. Okay. Well, there you go. There's her commentary. <laughs> Tina Keys, the Mother of Dragons, is with us. Hello, hello. Yes. And Alex Cars. I can't remember your moniker occupy pro wrestling yeah there you go we're cold I'm tired and emotionally distraught right now <laughs> this is, is this emotionally distraught is the phrase of the night right now that's the assessment that is yeah. the assessment <laughs> cody rose just uh failed his father and his family uh in front of eighty thousand people this and uh 81,000 people thank you miss um <laughs> producer, producer missy off off on the side you i'm gonna make a picture of her to Hi. post on social media later <laughs> of this amazing lighting setup <laughs> so professional this is like my 10th did production you, of the week see what i just did yeah, I, what i know i'll figure it uh, out later we'll fix Hi. it in post okay there's that too okay <laughs> <laughs> toasty uh anyways so uh first of all we'll get into uh our our general thoughts. We're going to do a quick show here for you guys this week, so you do have something of mayhem with us. And Dave has something to clip. Anyways, what are our thoughts? Uh, let's see. I think, uh, Katie, this is your first WrestleMania. Wait, wait. That's where I'm at. Where are you at? WrestleMania! There you go. <laughs> first of all, two days of WrestleMania. Correct. What are your thoughts, especially you experiencing the second one after an actual night's sleep? Oh my gosh, it's much different. The night is much shorter. Yes. Well, yeah. After an actual more than an hour of sleep in two days. What's your vibe? Oh my gosh, so much fun. So, so cool. Uh, definitely so excited I did this. And it was totally worth the lack of sleep and losing my mind. But uh, so happy to be here. It was so much fun. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Alex, I, I can't remember. Have you been to Mayhem? Uh, uh, no, this is, this is in fact my first, first mania. mania yes. First Mania. Have yeah. a safe drive home, guys. Uh, <laughs> this is our first Mania for Alex Carr. So what was your impressions of this? Uh, you were here both I, nights. I also had a lot of fun. Uh -huh. Um... <laughs> a little less fun driving here and back. Well, I mean, L.A. But LA. The, LA. the show itself was great. Yes. A lot of fun moments. Uh, quite frankly, I, I I tend to enjoy a lot of stuff, and I it's very hard for me to be critical, uh, especially when you're in the crowd. Have you ever been in an event uh, of this size before? No. Because that was my first impression. I, I got to go to 29 in MetLife, and it was just the sheer, sheer mass of everything, just like was sh like just overwhelming when I walked into. Oh yeah, no, I, sheesh, 80, you know, 80,000 last night, 81,000 tonight. Yes, Holy we counted moly. them. Alex what? counted them. Every and single hit and every single it. seat. <laughs> this is how you find yeah. your car. <laughs> Anyways, well, we're trying to open. Hey, hey. All right, that's much for Southwest. Anyways. Uh, I'm just fine on the microphones. We, do, we, do, we use these microphones beside like like uh, generators at Baja, so you know. Oh, lovely. Um. Anyway, they're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, Tina, you are no stranger to the WrestleMania. Um. The, actually, this is my first WrestleMania. Oh wait, I, I misremember. Who did I talk to yesterday? Okay. Um, Surprise. What was your thought of uh, your first WrestleMania? Um. It was great. Night one was just a little bit overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Um. But other than that, like once you know what to expect and the vibe of it, it was it was exciting. It was fun. Excellent. And again, have you ever been to anything with this many people? Uh. Not for like. It's been a year, about 20 years or so. About 20 years. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, wow. So so uh, let's talk about night one first. Of course, uh, uh, night one was like, it felt like the heartwarming night. And it, they were obviously <laughs> sitting us up for pain tonight. <laughs> <Jerks>. <laughs> or so for most of us. Uh, uh, the big one, of course, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. What do you guys think about that? Oh, so good. Yes. Oh, um, Okay, so especially as someone who got to meet, uh, who got to meet Kevin, Back in 2012. Back in the day. At, oh, at uh, Wrestle PW, Reunion. Wrestle Reunion. Yeah, okay. PWG All right. at, at Wrestle Reunion. Uh, so to see him, like, get the tag titles. Mm -hmm. Main event of 91 WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. So good. 
Oh my gosh. And then Sami Zayn with everything he's been through. Oh, like... With all, with the whole thing of him trying to go for the for for the the undisputed title, just yes. you know, just last one, you know, finally get to the point of like, okay, now he's he is a champion coming out of WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. right. It, 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 it's it's such a story, and the Usos the main event after being like, uh, you know, there's a interesting conversation. Uh, uh, with a relative of theirs that I was uh, a present for, we're talking about no more pre-show for these guys because they were. They, how many times did they end up on the pre-show of WrestleMania oh, over the years, right? Yeah, you know, and not actually making the card, and now to be the main event and something so big, one of the biggest storylines of the year. Um, and and I, I kept watching that match. I'm like, and like I just feel like everybody was there because of Sammy. Like he got mm-hmm. all three of those guys into the main event, you know, yeah. and that's just freaking fantastic. So, uh, what did you think, Tina? Uh, it was great. It uh, tied a little nice bow to it. And then I think, um, if you notice, I think I want to say it was was it Kevin's gear, the nod to PWG. Yes, that was great. Yes. There was a lot of that. Cody, uh, his belt had inscriptions of all the promotions when he was on his uh, sabbatical of sorts. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, including like you know PWG. I think Defy was on that. Defy was on uh, that. Like, um, so many indie companies that he had, he had done over the time. Mm-hmm. I'm sure New Japan was probably a part of that too. Ring of Yeah, Honor. New Japan was right in the, um, like was like right that, in the that, center. That is, it's real cool that between that and seeing like pictures from the Hall of Fame or the Crown Hall of Fame where he's just seen AEW town all over the place. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brody Lee's wife and kid uh, were, were in the crowd tonight. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, t- uh, 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 Katie, what do you think? Who's to Katie? Gutters, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, uh, oh, man. I don't even know if that's the pick a highlight from night one. Um, since you guys, I, I think the, the final, oh, gosh, Charlotte Flair and oh, um, yeah. Rhea Ripley. Um, that match, oh my gosh! Like I, I'm usually I'm not a huge, usual uh, Charlotte Flair fan. Mm-hmm. Sorry, <laughs> but like, oh, those two went at each other, and it was amazing. Mm-hmm. It, 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 I saw the comment, and I agree with it. It felt like they were like, uh, "I'll show you for not showing up, putting us in the main event." Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, so, like, they yeah, had something to bit. prove there. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, brutal, fantastic match. A long cry from uh, uh, Missy uh, falling asleep during it last year, uh, the Charlotte match. <laughs> uh, but also, we were probably on like a couple hours sleep then too, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> for other reasons. <laughs> um, but uh, that, that was amazing. Uh, what, what are our highlights from last night? Like last night was just felt like a good wrestling show. Yeah, you know? that was, like, yeah. like last year yeah. was so goofy and vintage and throwback and returns mm-hmm. and you know we do stone coals and this guy and the other guy and johnny knoxville and giant mouse traps uh you know it just yeah. felt like a good wrestling show mm-hmm. right yeah, yeah that, oh gosh it's, it's hard to pick just you know like the, the main event and everything coming out of that was was really good yeah uh, bad bunny uh bad bunny. <laughs> oh the ray and dom match the ray mysterio versus dominic yeah jeez the guess it was fantastic mm-hmm. uh, like so many fantastic stories going into this. Like I, I just again, just the most memorable path to WrestleMania. I think I said last week on the show. So um, uh, before we get into night two here, I think we need to talk about the most controversial thing of WrestleMania, which appears to be advertising. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, yes. Uh, I first of all, I know a lot of people talking about like, oh, this is a big story, and and father and son and a blood feud and. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> yeah, but counterpoint, Ray Mysterio was also featured in the advertising in the marketing for that going into WrestleMania. Yes, yes. Now I have so... a backstory. I have a backstory. If you will picture this with me, it, it, just this idea that that you know back in the day, Dominic Mysterio, distraught, longing for his father, lonely, frustrated over his favorite cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And it all comes back around. This actually is genius, okay? So, and then how do you how do you get the one up on your son and get back at him for 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 for, for smacking your his mom? Like you bring out the biggest, scariest piece of his favorite cereal to taunt his ass. Oh god! Right? Good boy. You know, that's, how, that's how you mess with Junior if he was bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's good parenting. Hey, you you know you, you know what goes great with cinnamon toast crunch? Prime, apparently. Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, this was a good weekend of me realizing I don't know any artist that's out there. Yeah. Except for Bad Bunny, just because I played him in 2K. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but anyways, but that, yeah, freaking fantastic. Like, I, I just, this is, 
I, this feels like the best story ender for so many stories on WrestleMania that I, I can remember in a long time. <laughs> What's that? Uh, oh, uh, the, the, well, you, you definitely, um, I was sharing things from my perspective of WrestleMania, which are the usual things you probably don't notice. Like mm-hmm. I took the video of the, the folks cleaning up the cops. Yeah, we're, and, like, like, we're, we're, we're looking at production like all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, Clean up guys, go, 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 running up the ramps. Mm-hmm. And like one of the, I think one of the best videos I took was of the giant uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch being escorted back. <laughs> because it was just sideways like sinking because the stage was like this so it just got shorter and shorter and just sunk into the stage it was slowly sinking into the into the bowl of milk yeah well again it looked like it was being led like it had done something yeah. bad like <laughs> like like mom was taken home to be to be grounded or yeah. something like that like you know what you did toasty yeah so um all right so that's and on top of that like obviously like the cinnamon toast crunch like overlays and leds and Oh, and, and don't get me started on the TurboTax. The TurboTax. <laughs> TurboTax. Sorry, TurboTax. Turbo, a TurboTax ad right after an emotional video package for that main event. Yeah. Oh, you guys heard the crowd, right? Oh, yeah, uh, okay. the crowd was not happy. Oh, so there was, there was that? It, it, they, they always just watch the headphones. I don't have enough hands, but I'm, I'm watching the monitor. Um, uh, so it's so hard. I'm producing. You see me holding the, like the entire studio I in my hand. Until no, no, no. Started going in and out of focus. Oh uh, yeah, because so we got. I'm look at all focus. these lights. Look at all these lights. Look at the bright lights of WrestleMania. Um, anyways. <laughs> we got it. We got it. It's the only time that didn't get a response. Um, yeah, was it was over there. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you won't hear it on these microphones. Um, it never happened. Well, I was like, uh, then, then, yeah, because like late into the show last night, every time there was like a commercial, the crowd boos, mm-hmm. and every time there's a pop up, like they did the ex- they did like the cool video min- montage for the Hell in a Cell tonight, mm-hmm. then went into the ex- what was a, the, the Pope's the exorcist. Pope's exorcist. Coming out of the theaters, okay. yeah, on April fourteenth, boos. <laughs> boos, biggest heel pop. Sorry, Roman. Um, mm-hmm. and then even like. Partway through, they just did a lower third with a wide shot that we saw on the screens, and uh, and, and they booed that. Crowd <laughs> yeah. Like the crowd was like, "No, no, we don't. We don't." It was, it was, and I, I understand Russell. We did not pay six. Oh, we okay, we pay a lot more, but at home we did not pay sixty dollars for WrestleMania. No, right? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet, at least. Not, not yet. Wait, is that changing? Well, I mean. Oh, the new are groomers. All right, we'll get to those when we have a proper show in a, in a week and a half. Um, <laughs> but I'm saying, just for tonight as things stand, mm-hmm. we did not pay $60. This thing is free on Peacock, or you paid the equivalent of $10 American probably, like for Matthew uh, over in England or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and he's in England, right? You get tell you something over there. Uh, hi, Matthew. Love Botchmania. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the likes. Uh, and... Uh, uh, you know, I mean, it's advertising. It's, I mean, WrestleMania and their pay-per-views, you know, live events, um, are like, I mean, they're still, I think if you if you paid only five bucks for Peacock, you're still getting general ads in the middle of this thing. That's why our breaks were so long. You know? yeah. uh, I had some I had some some people text me like, are you, what's happening here? Because yeah. it feels like these breaks are forever. And we're like, yeah, we're just getting snacks and stuff. Everybody's cool. What? <laughs> oh my God. We will talk so much more about the advertising. Uh, 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 let us know what you thought at home about it. I know the crowd here didn't like it. Um, I, before we get to Shane, we have to talk about some more in-house production problems. Um, <laughs> I, apparently, nobody heard this because it sounds like it sounds like they were basically not piping in crowd or something or covering up from reports that I'm getting. Let us know live what what you guys were hearing. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, the booze, obviously. But during the first night, the video screen for everybody in the cheap seats to see what's going on. Uh, kept you know, freezing. It kept freezing. Was yeah. having technical problems. Watch it. Yeah, yeah. We, we were watching it happen. Apparently, it was worse on the other side. I was saw yeah. Mania retweet uh-huh. that. I'm like, oh, that's not good. I'm just like sitting there in like shock and horror for whoever's let, responsibility let, that is. Let me put it, let me put it this way. Uh, in that opening match from from last night, from night one, uh, John Cena's a attempt on Austin Theory. Yeah. So powerful that it froze our screen. It right froze at the, the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were running the screen off of Peacock, apparently. I don't know what was happening. They were using the free Wi-Fi. They were using the free Wi-Fi. Don't <laughs> yep. use the free Wi-Fi, don't guys. Use the free Wi-Fi. Um, 
this was notice there's no giant well this is the wrong stadium but there's no giant uh uh cellular sponsor on the side of it to make sure the internet's good guys uh no that was so that was frustrating and then and then unfortunately like the obvious thing you know we were talking about this like if they do that wide shot that beauty wide shot of all the crowd while there's like a rest hold or something mm -hmm. they cut out the big screen because they don't want that repeat thing they want to see the nice you know wrestlemania goes hollywood or on that crazy circular screen that they have in SoFi, right? But every time they did that, everybody booed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and it's like, it's a functional thing, but since everybody like dealt with the problem the first night, <laughs> have fun. Uh, I couldn't think of everything. Uh, you know, it was just, it would just kind of set the tent tone for everything. So, I mean, uh, uh, you were, you were uh, uh, probably, you uh, you, yeah, yeah, how are you feeling up there? Like, oh God, am I going to see this show? It, it's funny because like, I, I, I was, I was telling a friend of my, mine about it, and they were like, "Well, you still got a pretty good view of, of the ring," and I was like, "Yeah, but that's not the point. You don't yeah. really know what's going on. You don't know yeah, what's happening. Right. Like, you see something's happening, but like generally, you're like, like, okay, perfect example. KSI in a prime bottle getting put through an announce table." We got to see it on the screen. It's the only way we were actually get a good uh, shot of what was happening. It's, it's like ants. I couldn't even make it up on at. the screen. I thought he was freaking R Truth, and it didn't make any sense to me. And uh, <laughs> thankfully, like the girl next to me knew every rapper there, and 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 everybody was like, "Who's what is this guy? What's the deal here?" You know, like yeah. I, I don't, you know, uh, you, you got you got a teenager. You probably knew everybody. I have a teenager. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine is a big KSI fan, so I, I do to text her about it. There was like, oh god, there was an audible We're groan so with when he saw KS, KSI, and then he was like all excited when. He saw a little Uzi Vert. So. There you go. There you go. Um, but uh, yeah, so so that that was interesting. And I think, and I realized, you know, having gone to Dallas, we were so spoiled with that giant screen <laughs> in the <laughs> TNT Stadium. So, um, anyways, um, uh, any other thoughts before we go into to today? No. No, right. not particularly. All right. So uh, uh, I want to talk Helen Cell for a moment. Uh, <laughs> what? what was that? <laughs> Sorry, nothing. I just remember what Missy brought up earlier. What did she bring up earlier? About the break. About what? The break. Oh, oh the break. All right, we'll talk about that. <laughs> Shane McMahon made his triumphant return. <laughs> and as I saw some things on Twitter and, uh, you know, was the entire thing called in the ring with Snoop or was it the plan all along and we just jumped to it? I don't know. We may never know. We may never we know. Go. We'll probably find out eventually. Well, we'll yeah. on an episode but of Miss and Misses. But on the bright side, we got we got a people's elbow out of the deal. We got a, yeah, we did. No, we got a Snoop's elbow is what we got. We got a... We got, damn it. Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Uh, 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 and, and, and we couldn't take it from that side. We got a people's elbow from, a, from an actual WWE Hall of Famer. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently he potatoed the hell out of Miss <laughs> from the sounds of it. Oh, <laughs> he... Damn it. Damn it, Snoop Dogg. Uh, I just ma imagine, like, the whole conversation, like, before, you know, everything happened. And Snoop's like, I could do this. And then I could do this. And they're like, no, dude, you can't do this. And he's like, but I can do this. And they're like, no, dude. And then, like, the whole thing goes down. And it's like, my time to shine. And he's just doing his own thing. <laughs> I finally get to be a part of this. Let thing. me think that Snoop did all that on his own. Like, Miz yeah. called it. Like, hit me. Hit me. <laughs> people's elbow me you know mm -hmm. something like that like i really I, I i in my mind that makes it such a, a grander like story of saving wrestlemania <laughs> when shane collapsed in the middle and and and, and, and it sounds like it was like an ufc style break mm -hmm. uh, uh yes. from people that are looking at the replays i saw some of the tweets of the close-ups and everything and they're like yeah this ain't good um there's no way that was part of his plan. So, um, it was so it was, weird. And it was just from a leapfrog, if memory serves me correctly. It was leapfrog. It was the second move. Mm -hmm. And it was, ah, damn it. Um, yeah, see enough MMA to know, because that, that whole, like, you stand and, like, steady yourself, and then, nope. Like, that's like, nope, that's gone. Nope, you're you're done. You're done. Um, damn it. Uh, Triple H would have kept going, finished yeah, the match. Cool. Mm -hmm. Won a championship or three, and uh, you know, pinned Roman Reigns. Taking it, taking it his nine months off. Yes, yeah, there you go. Um, Hell in a Cell. I'm sorry. I'm just still. I'm still just uh, Edge and and Balor. Uh, also with a mishap. It was weird because yeah. it was like right after that, <laughs> and then we're like, you saw like them go out again, freaking out. Uh, apparently, he took that ladder, 
and 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 mm-hmm. got AEW style blood, which is not okay mm-hmm. here. No. So, um, <laughs> and they had to check on him. Everything they, they had some spider in the ring and everything. I didn't even notice. They're so good. I didn't even notice them change their apron. You know, like like I, I don't even remember them putting the rope back up after Drew McIntyre hit it with a with the sword last year. Like that's how good at distracting me at, at these shows they are. Um, like yeah, I'm their perfect fan. Uh, so like oh, 15 minutes of videos. Okay, wait, where's the where'd the blood go? What's happening here? Um, uh, what do you guys think of that match in general? And I mean, I'm I'm still popping for the entrances. Yeah, honestly, yeah. The, the the entrances really the entrances got me. would really got, got me, me too. Yeah, the yeah. um the the brood style entrance oh. with, the with the mask with the that mask. was great. I want to nice know. Touch. Yeah, I want to know what that was a reference to. I'm sure it's a metal album cover somewhere. <laughs> It will be. It will yeah. be. I mean, geez, it might be a poster or something. And see, what, what I understood that they were going to, I understood that the whole, like, part of this whole thing was Finn bringing back the demon. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. But I didn't realize that he was also bringing back the old music and the, the whole, you know, up and down thing the with the end. The whole entrance. thing. Like, okay. It was. Okay. I was glad that we could throw our hands in the air again. Yeah, it was so much fun. Ah. Yes. <laughs> so it was. That was good. And, and so and, even, and I love like like the faction of Judgment Day didn't take no faction took L's across the board. No. Right. Rhea is now the matriarch of freaking Judgment Day, mm-hmm. right? Roman's gonna be have some business to handle probably Monday and and Friday and or Friday, mm-hmm. depending how we're handling this. Um, like that's that's that it, that it, I'm intrigued, you know. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Roman, <sighs> are, are we getting there finally? Gonna... Deflated? No, no, no. What did I what did I say? He said speaking of Roman. Shocked. Oh, shocked. Yeah. 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 Shocked. Yeah. Not deflated. Yeah. Yeah. What are you guys' vibes on the uh, Roman Reigns winning tonight? I would say the same thing. Shocked, but not necessarily deflated. Um, uh, shocked for sure. Uh, deflated <laughs> maybe after. Or maybe depending on who the next challenger is, because I, like, the biggest question for me coming out of out of tonight is, what happens next? Well, I, you know, and I, 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 you know, I get what happens next, but to me, it's like, how are you feeling coming out of the stadium? How are you feeling coming out tonight? You feel satisfied in the match that you saw tonight? In the match, yes. Oh my yeah. god, it's that was it's, such it's, a yeah, ride. It is. It is probably the classic <laughs> example of. Man, that is not the result I was expecting. It wasn't really also the result cla- I wanted. Also classic yeah. WWE overbooking, but to but great the, effect. But yeah. the, the match itself was great. Uh, uh, Katie, uh, uh, we had an emotional response from our neighbor. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I thought she was going to go down there and just smack her. Oh, that one. I didn't see that one. Oh, I was yeah. talking about the one that left his stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's like, I'm out. Yeah, yeah he, he, left his, well, he left his swag, right? And what did yeah. he say when he came back? Oh, he was just so upset over the whole <laughs> of her Roman winning <laughs> that he's got up and left and then he forgot his stuff. And then he said he saw somebody else with the same shirt he bought and was like, oh no, <laughs> and came back. So, um, yeah, no, it was like, it was emotional, except for like the, and I know, I think, was it, one of you had a bunch of Roman fans in your section, right? That was mine. Like, they were there. I mean, I mean, there's some Roman mm-hmm. fans, definitely, you know, Roman it wasn't full Cody, oh no. Like, so, you know, it's, it's, you know, it, it, it's, it's not, yeah, I'm actually for, curious to see how the, um, how it was, how it translated on the um, pay per view with mm-hmm. the crowd singing along with Cody. Well, and you want to go back and hear all the talking because you know, you saw Paul talking to Roman, Roman. out there, right? Yeah. yeah. And you're just like, I want to know what the conversation was because you know, we picked that up on the microphones because that's yeah. what we do during these matches, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you, I, you want to watch half of WrestleMania again on mm-hmm. replay yeah. after you've been here live because mm-hmm. you're just like, I got to see how this played. I want to, I want to see Corey Graves freaking out from Pat McAfee coming in again. <laughs> I want to, you know, like all those kind of vibes, you know, I want to see how that goes. You know, I want to see if any, any of the booing at the advertisements did come through. Uh, you know, it, it sounds like it doesn't, but still, like, it's just, it just, it's a different thing. I started watching last week's WrestleMania, or last year's WrestleMania last week a little bit, and I'm just like, like, wow, okay, yeah, that's right. It was good memories, but also like, oh, I didn't see that angle of that. You know, it was right. really good to uh, kind of do and re- re- relive those kinds of things. You know, um, and there's certain like there's certain little things that we forget, like um, the the tributes, like the Sin City tribute with the six woman tag. Mm-hmm. Um, oh gosh, what else was there? There was a there was quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that was geez. a solid match too. Mm-hmm. Um, Trish doing nods back to her when she was wrestling at WrestleMania 21. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Eddie tribute. The Eddie tribute with Snoop Dogg. Yes. Yes. And they do it so close to San Diego and, mm-hmm. and here, out here in LA and everything. It's just that 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 it was even bigger of a pop. 
Uh, I heard certain chants I haven't heard since uh, the Lucha Underground tapings out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's just put it that way. Yes. Uh, and it won't repeat here, but uh, no, that uh, we got we got a lot. Of, we had a lot of that in our section too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I heard that in some indie shows this week. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think I guess it's just an LA thing, oh, but uh, um, anyway. So you know what I just realized because you brought up Lucha Underground. Oh no, the taping we went to. Yes, back in season, like when they had season three. Yes, remember who was in one of the segments? Was Ray, Ray Mysterio and, and Dominic. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. So it's like, oh, okay. This has been a weird, like, we, uh, we'll, we'll talk, I'll talk at some other point about how the rest of Mania Week went for me. I will follow my Twitter and Instagram. Uh, but uh, it's been very weird, like, Lucha Underground Revival Week for me, actually, <laughs> from seeing the Boyle Heights signs as I'm driving by on the highway oh, to God. to uh, to, to uh, uh, doing shows with some people that we saw at that taping and everything. So um, it's very, very cool. Great experience. Katie, are you going to get us uh, next year in Philly? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's a short commute in yeah. comparison. <laughs> well, so. no, we figured it's the same commute. There's just less time traveling. Yeah, there's less, less time traveling. And <laughs> so it's maybe, the same thing, just yes, a different way. Yes, and at least we know Philly a little better. So uh, <laughs> you guys you guys got to come to Philly, right? I mean, you guys come to Philly? Uh, come see to, how the East Coast does it? That out. Yeah, yeah, got yeah. got year to figure it out now. Right, okay, Alex, we'll yeah. see you there. And yeah. Tina? <laughs> Come um, and we'll bring you a slice for 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 reals. This go. So here's what you do. You guys fly into Pittsburgh. It might be a little cheaper, and we'll get you some slice and drive you out to Philly. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say no to that. Yeah. Okay. You go. You heard it here first. They're completely coming next year, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> um. Uh. 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 uh Many a weekend in one word. Real quick, Tina. Uh, it's an experience. Perfect, Alex. Wow. Loud. Loud. <laughs> Cody got robbed. It's yes. more than one word, but I will accept it, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes. Roman needed three guys to help. He needed yes. three guys to help. Fuck yes. Roman Reigns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, she's part, <laughs> no, that's she's part of the podcast now. No, I, I love get, it. I'm going to have to get her a Twitter <laughs> handle. All right. I love it. <laughs> We got to do this every year now. I like it. All right. Thank you guys so much. Let us know your thoughts on WrestleMania, of course. Wrestling Mayhem Show, at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Uh, at Mayhem Show, at Sorgatronmedia.social on the Mastodon and Fediverse. Uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show, Facebook group, Discord, and I don't know, if, uh, Reddit, if you want to Reddit with us. Uh, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time. We'll be in studio uh, the second week here in April. Uh, Mayhem out. The show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.